women who did their entire low marriage here, like this. And I want to connect my knees, teach them together. So I'm, I'm basically not tackling right there. But we need to get used to this group because this is a bit of an unnatural movement. It's very vulnerable. We'll see later on why it's better. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to keep my heel into his hip. I want to close the knees together. And ideally, I want to try and get my knee up the knee as high as I can. See? Hit for heart. It's not really a flexibility thing, but if you don't have any abs, you're going to struggle to do this. So if you just hold it, look. Absolutely. One, two, three. On the third one, someone's not concentrating. On the third one, we're going to switch our foot to here. The technique of the day later on. Don't sleep yet. So here's the whole thing. One, two, three, switch over, start attacking, and don't sleep yet. But maybe it's his turn. Yes? Single leg, 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 single don't get lazy because people, what they do is they, they, they can't get it through your legs, so they dip, put it here, and then they start from here. Look at this, this is ready to be passed. Now I want my hips elevated. Okay, cut over the leg, and here, so you ask a question of what you do with this hand, you can use this as a, an, as a, like a, like a imagine a knee as a ball, you're rolling there. So we are rolling outwards, making the fall. Keeping the head flat. I'm sorry, just finish off. Yeah, keep the head flat. Yeah, okay, okay. So, let's stay again. Do the other leg. You do one of that leg, one of that leg, and you stand up, and your partner doesn't go, and then the next leg, it will probably be done. So now I'm working with this leg, I'm going to it to here. Alright, so I'm going to use this as a moving mechanism. My hips do the work. Hips do the work. The face. The other side, and I'm starting to attack this leg. I'm just going to be here. All right, I'll change your hand one more time. Change. Here, switch over, rotate. Switch over. Here. Both feet on the hips, and try to stay underneath my arm. You can do it for the whole thing. One, two, and we'll talk about it in the next section. One, two, three. So, three major groups. Let's talk about the finish. So, uh, <coughs> I've gone for the 50 50 and we swap the leg open. I'm going to proceed from this part. <clears throat> Notice what I do with my feet. I'm covering my foot with the other. So if Lucas wants to just go straight out of the me, it's awkward. If my feet were loose, I can go up this way right? You can cover one over the other. And it's on the hip. Yeah. Actually, I should have the bottom leg covering the if you do the top one, you just extract the top leg and it's The bottom foot covering the top foot. This is a nice thing. Same way, not skin. Okay. If the knee escapes, you have a lot of So rather than fitting here, grab the knee first. And then I'm kind of down in this upright posture. If the foot is conveniently under your armpit, you could even just wrap it into here and use your armpit to finish it. But generally, people will want to start pushing around here. So notice what I've done on my arm here. I'm just using the blade of my forearm as the pressure point underneath this Achilles. Yeah. I'm elevating myself and I'm twisting my body. Some of you guys are, can do foot lunch from here, but there's no torque, there's no tension, there's no power. Elevate yourself and start turning. Also, don't flare your elbow out until you pull my arm. Where's the other one? Come on, up. Yeah, All right. Uh, so, okay. so we're going to start from. What should we start? I know. Start on your. Yeah. You start from 50 50. This, this just saves a bit of time. So we imagine we just start to go. Grab the knee, cover your foot, elevate yourself. If you want to do the low wrap around version, you can try it. You'll probably make more success encasing your arm around the Achilles. And remember, it is a twist and a hip lift. What would you describe the pain being? It's right on the Achilles. Yeah, it is. Stretching out. 
Um, was that what happened for that? Or we need to go through that again? Feel free to say that and show you. Nope? Good check. This one you can do with pairs now because it doesn't involve speaking with people, so you can all find a partner and uh, practice the technique. Do a few, be the other partner, do a few, so swap them in as well. Okay, group this. So just a uh, side note, the reason I'm teaching this is because some of you guys might enjoy moving on to the MMA or submission bracket where he looks allowed. This position is perfect for doing this, which is a heel hook. We're not doing heel hooks, but we keep some re practice. Um, on the right line of the water, not going to heal. Just say it's not in there, should you progress to a hard line, which is not trained here. We're doing strength, which is, this is totally allowed from the beginner level up to that level. This is totally allowed. Even though you could kind of do the same thing by cheating a little bit, see how I'm twisting that? It's still allowed because I'm developing the things in this point. Let's do a technique now, which is very similar. Okay? So, nah, I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm not doing this, I'm doing this version. Now I talked about this where I'm going here. Now what we're going to do is see the bottom leg, put that out here. Mm. Yeah, much more than the lower part of your body. Free the bottom leg. See if you just do it from here, you're limited to how much. Yeah, yeah. you get a bit of a tip with your bony hips. At least the bottom leg allows your hip to move. With the hip moving, and I'm not using, I'm not fiddling with and circling here. That's the only addition, really. We'll try that, guys. Nice. Nice. We've assumed we've swept the person and we've got 50 50, and I'm about to entwine. I'm going to try and use his leg. Now, it's, it's very hard to get. You could probably try on the top leg. I'm so stretched out. Plus, at the same time, he's going to attack my leg. See? And then we're in this sort of weird position. Um, I have seen people tap up from this, but that's because they're inexperienced. With Essentially what we are, we're both in the same sort of position here. It's very hard to um, get a, a finish, a clean finish from there. So what a lot of people do from 50-50 is they try to separate, separate out of them is very fiddly. Again, you're as likely to get attacked as you are to control. So, yeah, I'm going to show you this side and then I'm going to show you the other side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not gonna I'm gonna attack this leg, but I'm not gonna go for the insert, I'm just gonna and we're gonna sit up and spin into it, step over and step over, wrap around, what is legs and tangle or not doesn't matter I'm going to finish. So this involves your body stepping up, it's a step over angle. Uh, I'll do one more from the side, this view and then I'll show you. So normally you see normally I attack I would attack this leg. Like, you know, but since the outline, it's inaccessible now because this is covering it. I have no choice, I can only go with this leg. But it's too obvious if you start having these, I'm not even going to get up. Painful and that's So, what I'm going to do is this is a kind of a surprise move. I'm covering here, lean in, and I'm going to face and turn over. So, you turn your knees first, see, I'm already wrapping around, and set. Keep the foot on the ground, adjust, and then get to the wing. And this leg is still fine now, see? So we're swing around to get the physical. Again, it's only like the only thing inside. So, I can only attack the leg top there. This one is half out of the front leg. But there is a leg there, it's good. So, strap the bone and circle there. Strap. If you circle, you fall past what you're doing. too much so this leg comes in and stops. Now I circle around the leg I want. It doesn't have to be precise because you've got a very tight grip there. You lift as long as you push it forward. And notice how I many how would you defend this one? How would you roll out? Would you? Yeah. It's not really I'm trapping this knee. I'm squeezing the knee here because you need your leg free to roll out. So even if you roll a little bit, it just increases the tension on the foot. So I've shown you three times, a little bit different, but this is my favourite finish because it catches a lot of people. Yes? So remember, Uki's trying to do this. Okay, one, two, three, four.